what three baits should you use in the month of September? Before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, send me a comment so I can say hello back and welcome you to the team. But right now, we're going to talk about September and the three baits you should be using. September is a tough month. Why? This is a time when the fish are, are starting to realize there's a transition coming. This is a time when you're, if you are confident with a bait, this is the bait you should use. Confidence has a lot to do with how you fish. But hopefully these three baits you're not only confident with, but you can also catch them in this month because this really is a tough month. Uh, Shatter gonna start schooling up. Bass are gonna start schooling up. But that transition is about to happen. So we need to capitalize on that and make sure we have the right stuff and using the right stuff and where to use it. In September, the nights are going to add are going to have some cooler weather. It's going to be hot during the day, a little bit cooler in the evening, and the bass will feed that whole cycle, especially during your full moon. Your full moon you're going to see bass going after everything that they that they can eat. You're going to have you're going to start seeing in the upper in the northern part of the country, grass is going to start dying off. But if you can find grass that is a little bit submerged, you're going to find bass there. Bass are going to start to move into those grass, grassy areas. They realize things are starting to, to die around them. So they're going to find a spot that's a great ambush point. This is also a time when the bass are going to start moving up and going to go to rock beds and and docks and all those things they want an ambush point and that's the that's the first one of the first things that you need to realize getting out there knowing your pond or lake and capitalizing on the spots that they're going to be holding will get you more bites now every month i think we could say using a ned rig is going to be successful it is if this is another month where a ned rig will be successful we're not going to talk about that but if you want to use one it's a great time to do it on rock piles on hard bottoms on structure anything you can find lay downs will hold fish in september they're gonna they're gonna transition to those spots like i said they know something's happening and they need to fatten up they also are going to go after more aggressive baits more aggressive moving baits so that's what we're going to start off with so my number one bait for the month of september and this doesn't mean it's number one it's one of three is a fluke now a fluke does a couple things really great this is the four inch this is a five inch and as you can see i actually cut it off my rod because i'm using this already a fluke is wonderful as my voice goes up maybe i'm transitioning when it's time to change then it's time to change na, 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 na. uh a fluke goes up a fluke is great because you can use it at the top of the water column and also at the middle and the, the lower. But now is when you want to use it in that upper water column. We're going to target fish. Fish are going to be looking up and want to eat anything that they can find. A fluke is great to just work back and forth, but then also pause it and let it sink for a second and re rework it, restart working it. I would say your natural colors, while I'm not really big into colors, Truth be told, this is the one I'm throwing. I'm throwing a baby bass zoom fluke. Uh, in the baits that are coming up, you'll notice there is a, a lot of similarities to the color that I think you should be using. But number one is a fluke. And a fluke is like a jerk bait. But also, a hard jerk bait is a really good one for September, too. And here's why. This is the uh, Engage loader minnow this is actually the this is the actual lure that i caught that giant speck on uh several months ago this is a suspending twitch bait i'm going to use that bait very aggressively on the edge of a grass if i see it from a distance i want to cast to it and just work it super fast super aggressive make lots of noise make lots of action on that bait have it either reel it in directly or pop just rip it in by popping my rod so it makes aggressive slashes back and forth 
to what I'm going to do with that fluke too. I'm going to use it really aggressively because they're going to those bass are going to hang out on those lay downs or that grass that's slowly dying and try to ambush it as it comes out. The fluke is really good because you can run it through the grass. That suspending twitch bait or suspending jerk bait, you can't really do. You got to work the edges. But both of them, while not the same lure, kind of are the same lure. I mean, whatever. They're both baits I think you should be using in the month of September. So my number two bait is because the days are getting a lot shorter in September. And I want to be able to use something in the morning and at dusk that I can trigger reaction strikes. And that's where a top water comes in. Now you'll notice in that last one I was using a silver. This is what I'm using a silver too. Like I said earlier, the shad are starting to school up. They're not giant shad. They're going to school up for the, their, the winter. So I'm going to want to use something that is shad-ish type and also has that silver to it. Chrome, silver, whatever you want. Now the first one, I'm probably going to throw more than the second one, but this is a Shimano Colt Sniper, I think. And then this is the Berkeley. Both fantastic baits. But I want to use these baits to cover a lot of water. I want to have them so that they have an aggressive back and forth, a wide side to side action. I don't want them to, you know, back and forth like this. I want them to go back and forth in a giant motion. I want to be able to cover as much water as I can. I want to make a long cast and I want to make that cast as I'm coming toward, as it's coming towards me, wider and wider as it gets to me. Those fish are going to be hiding out, waiting to ambush those things from bottom to top. You're going to see lots of bites early in the morning and in the evening. Top water is key right now. But again, you don't have to use those baits. Use what you're confident with, but maybe switch up the colors to something chrome. That's what I would suggest. So my third one, I kind of feel like I talk about this every one month, but this is the, I want to tell you why I'm picking this one, is a crankbait. And I want a crankbait that has a really tight, fast wobble. I don't want one that does this. I want one that does this and makes lots of noise and action. I also want a bait that when I cast it, it comes directly to me. I've found, and you'll see in some upcoming videos, that I'm using some baits and as I cast them to me, they somehow veer to the right and then as they get closer to me, then they come back like this. I want a lure that stays true to where I'm casting. The OG Slim is a great one. Uh, it has the, the best thing about this is how it acts in the water. Tight wobble, then when you stop it, it floats backwards and that will a lot of times entice bass to eat uh, as a reaction strike. Like I said, I want that, I want to be able to cast it, tight wobble, make noise, and come directly back to me. If it goes to the right or the left, that really doesn't help me because there could be something over here that I don't want it to hit. So staying true to where I'm casting is very important. Those, those shallow water crankbaits are crucial right now. Actually, I think this one might be just a little bit too big. I would use the smaller one. I think that would have will get you more bites. You also wanna make sure that you, uh, I might actually use this one, but I'd put a red treble hook on the front. Also, if you really want to take it to the next level, take these baits and put a feathered treble hook on the back. That's going to add more action, get more bites, and you're going to see fish will follow it and reaction strike it a little bit more. So there's three baits I think you should use in the month of September. Thank you for hitting that like and subscribe button. Comment below and tell me what baits you're going to use. I really do read every comment. No joke. I read every comment. I try to make sure I... I try to reply to all of them, but sometimes you just can't. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on, crush them in September, man. Seriously, crush them. Send me the biggest fish you catch in September. I'll put it on the channel. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your um, kids fishing.